We, we had found a cool bird, unfortunately, as birds often do, it flew away. But there they fly, they're flying there. Look, it's a huge flock. Those are very special birds, everyone. They're called ground hornbills. There, we've got them in the tree there. Can you see them, Ferg? There's another one coming across. This is a flock of some seven ground hornbills. That's extremely unusual, and I know you can't see a very good picture of them there. Look at them all going into that tree, but they're the size of turkeys. Enormous black birds that look like turkeys. They've got big, what we call, red wattles underneath their faces, a little bit like turkeys do. And I don't think they taste like turkeys, but we can't eat them because they are highly endangered. That means that there are just not many of them left. Now we can try and get a little bit closer, but I think they'll probably fly away. But it's still very, very special to see them. And you know what they eat? They've got beaks that are like chisels. I don't know if you know what chisels are. Chisels are things that are used to break plaster and break rocks and that sort of thing if you're trying to knock down a building. Well, those beaks that the ground hornbills have are like chisels. And they use those to break up tortoise shells. You know what a tortoise is? You might call it a turtle where you're, in, where you're from in the United States. But out here we call them a tortoise. And the tortoise has got a very, very hard shell, and that is one of the only animals that's able to crack open a tortoise's shell with that beak, which is like a chisel. Otherwise, they eat mice, and they'll eat lizards and snakes. Now, Mariah, you say, how do birds hunt for food? Well, Mariah, there are thousands of different ways, that, well, maybe not thousands, but there are a lot of different ways that birds hunt for food. These ones walk along the ground, so they don't, they're not hunting now. They were calling to each other, they were singing across this valley, going, so they weren't hunting. These guys hunt walking along the ground. And they look like sort of angry old men as they walk along the ground. They stalk along and then they grab things. Then you might choose to hunt like a bee eater or a roller. Remember that feather I showed you? They do what we call hawk insects, which means to catch insects in the air. Otherwise, they can fly down onto the ground and catch insects there. Or you might do it like an eagle, like your American bald eagle. And that means that you're going to catch things in your talons. So the bald eagle, of course, will catch things, will catch fish in its talons. The talons are the claws or in the feet. And they'll swoop down from a great height and grab whatever they can find on the ground. So those are three of the ways that birds like to hunt. Those are very, very special birds. Those are. I'm very glad we managed to see them. They are called the ground hornbill. Tash, you want to know how a bird can eat a worm with one bite. Well, Tash, it depends on the size of the worm, really. I tell you what, have you ever eaten spaghetti, Tash? Do you know what spaghetti is? I'm sure you must have eaten spaghetti at some stage. Well, spaghetti is edible by sucking it up into your mouth. You put one end in and then you go... And eventually the spaghetti goes all the way into your mouth. And that's, well, a little bit like how a bird can eat a worm. Otherwise, what they might do is break it up into small pieces and eat it like that. And maybe that's how you eat your spaghetti. I don't know, Tash. I just want to show you how they walk those things, because it's quite easy to do. They walk like this, through the grass, with their long beaks. And they look like grumpy old men. And then when they find something, like a tortoise, they'll stop like this, and they don't move very fast, just like grumpy old men. And then they will drive that beak down into the tortoise, and it'll go, ah, ah, ah. They'll break it open, and then they suck up the juicy bits from the insides. Not a very nice way to go if you happen to be a tortoise. You don't want to be found by a ground hornbill.